Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrica. I appreciate that. Now I have uh, this timer here. Uh, it's called TDMDX, M, uh, TDMDDS X. Okay. Now this is a mouth function timer. Okay. Uh, it's really good. You can apply it. You can use it in mouth to, uh, in, you know, in various ways. So it has got four functions, okay? Uh, it has got four functions, uh, A, B, G, and C. Now, these functions, uh, let us look at uh, the data sheet a little bit. Now, it has got time ranging to from one second to 10 days, and a multiplying factor. The multiplying factor is uh, a factor which will help you to get the exact number that you want if it's not included on timer. For example, this time, if you want to use like five minutes, there's no five minutes here. So use a fact, multiplying factor of 0 0.5. Okay. So these are the functions here. We are going to look at each one of them and then we wire. Then back here. So uh, there are contacts here. Okay. There are contacts here. You have ARA contact and which is the, you know, common one, then close to four and open to three. Okay. So let us uh, see that then you have a coil which is 2 and 10 this is what we have done here uh, e exactly we have pre-wired this this contact as act is uh, as our load okay all right so let's go ahead and jump into it now first of all for these modes we have a b f and g so we are beginning with a which is on delay okay now on delay uh, here it says that on application of supply voltage, the time period starts to run. On completion of the uh, the time, it energizes the relay. So we switch on. Okay. And then we want to see. So you see our contactor has uh, engaged. Okay. So that is an uh, on delay. You see, that's an on delay there. Now let us look at uh, uh, off delay. Now off delay here it says that on supply uh, to the unit must be continuous. Now on closure of S, the relay energizes immediately. Okay, all right. Now. Let us uh, go to B. You make sure you change the dial. So we are at B. Okay. Now let us switch on. So we have a continuous supply on uh, on our timer. If you see now, the moment you close S, so the contact will close, and you see our contactor is in. Okay. But if you open S, now the timer will start counting and it will switch off. Okay. If we can uh, increase just a little bit of time, you switch on, that is uh, B. When you switch off, timer will count and then uh, the circuit will be de energized. Now, let us look at circuit F, which is a single shot leading edge. Okay. So you put in F. Like that, and then you switch on. Now, this says that an application of supply voltage, the timer starts to run immediately. So, this the, the timer will energize immediately, but okay, following the timeout, the relay will de energize. Okay, now for the new start, you have to interrupt the power supply. Now, let us switch on. <coughs> so, we have to increase a little bit of time so that you can you're able to see this. Okay. So it will count. The moment you switch on, uh, it engages. Now it will start counting this, the, the, you know, the set time and then the contactor or the relay will be energized. Okay. So that is F for you. Now let's go to, to G. Now G is a uh, fresh pause. So on application of the supply voltage, the time period starts to run okay the time starts to run now the relay switches on and off 
Okay? Okay. So we have put there and then let us see. Now what you have to do, because we've been using one contactor now here, we used to, we need two contactors that you are able to see two types of loads. Eh? I have to switch off that. Okay. So if we switch on, We have our time there it will start running and then it switch over to the other contactor and then it runs it's about a few seconds switch over that contactor then it starts to run about a few seconds okay all right, now we've uh, looked at all uh, the modes, so you are able to, you know, to tell uh, what you can use the mod for. Now let us begin with, um, let us try to understand uh, the use of uh, these modes, okay? Okay, now let us see. First, on delay, on application of a supply voltage, the timer period starts to run. On completion, uh, the relay, the time, uh, on the completion of the time, the relay energizes power off reset. Now, this one, we normally use them in our changeover switch, whereby you need to delay uh, a contactor for a generator to engage. Sometimes uh, we use them on star delta starter, okay, whereby uh, we delay the delta contactor to come in. Okay, okay. Then this B here, uh, the supply must be continuous on closure of S. Uh, the relay energizes immediately. So you've realized here that uh, when you switch on, the supply will be on. Now you need to close contact S for to activate the relay. Okay, so this one you can apply it in so many ways. This one you can, if you're automating a door to open and close. Okay by just manipulating time, for instance, and you can use uh, the input signal like uh, motion sensors and the motion sensors and also just a press, you press of a button, okay? So you press, S will be closed, okay? And uh, the door will open, just a push button can do, you know, you press once and then it will start counting. Now, after counting, because it will be on, it will go off. Now, maybe off, we can use it to trigger an, uh, another relay for it to close back the door, okay? Now we have single shot on application of the voltage starts, energizes, uh, R energizes immediately, okay? So you, you switch on and the contact energizes immediately, okay? And following the timeout and then the time will start to, you know, to count, all right? So this one, it can work for you. Let me give you a, a very small example. Uh, for instance, on a cross, on a cross rail, uh, whereby if a train is approaching, you need maybe there is a hooting sound that goes on. So when the, the, when the train is approaching, it can use a motion sensor to trigger the siren. So the siren goes on, okay? And then the moment it goes on, it starts count it, the timer starts counting down maybe it will go on for five minutes and then after the lapses five minutes it goes off now the flash up mode this one will help you we can use it to in the traffic lights yeah to switch on maybe the green light and switch off the, the, the red light it depends on how you manipulate that and also you can use it to run like two generators in the intervals maybe you want one generator to run for like 24 hour it goes off another one for 24 hour it goes off this one can help you if you're not using plc this can help you to to do that okay all right now thank you very much uh for being on the channel thank you very much for being on electric i appreciate that if you're new here uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, thank you very much. Until next time, I'm out.